Well, what if I told you that the NSA had a specialized technology for beaming energy into you and to the computer systems around you? Would you believe that that was real, or would that be paranoid speculation of a crazy person? <laughs> Here's what they do with those types of things. That exists, by the way. Um, <laughs> makes you, when I told Julian Assange about this, he, he said it right. He said, uh, hmm. I bet the people who are around Hugo Chavez are going to wonder what caused his cancer. And I said, you know, I hadn't considered that. But you know, I haven't found any data about human safety about these tools. Has the NSA performed tests where they actually show that radiating people with one kilowatt of RF energy at short range is safe? <laughs> My god! No, you, you guys think I'm joking, right? Well, uh, yeah, here it is. This is a continuous wave generator. Um, a continuous wave radar unit. Um, you can detect its use because it's used between one and two gigahertz, and um, its bandwidth is up to 45 megahertz. User adjustable, two watts, using an internal amplifier. External amplifier makes it possible to go up to one kilowatt. I'm just going to let you take that in for a moment. <clears throat> Who's crazy now? Now, here's why they do it. This is an implant called Rage Master. It's part of the angry neighbor family of tools where they have a small device that they put in line with a cable in your monitor, and then they use this radar system to bounce a signal. They send the microwave transmission, the continuous wave, it reflects off of this chip, and then they use this device to see your monitor. Yep, so there's the full life cycle. First they radiate you, then you die from cancer, then you win. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the same thing, but this time for keyboards, USB and PS2 keyboards. So the idea is that it's a data retro reflector. Here's another thing, but this one, the Tadri Yard program is a little bit different. It's a beacon. So this is where probably then they kill you with a drone. That's pretty scary stuff. They also have this for microphones to gather room bugs uh, for room audio. Notice the bottom, it says, all components are common off the shelf and are so non-attributable to the NSA. Unless you have this photograph and the product sheet. Happy hunting. <laughs> just to give you another idea, this is a device they use to be able to actively hunt people down. This is a hunting device, right? Handheld finishing tool used for geolocation, targeting handsets in the field. And if you work for the NSA, I'd just like to encourage you to leak more documents. <laughs> I say occupy the room for another five minutes, or know that there's a press conference room that will be opened up where we can all ask as many questions as we want in 30 minutes if you're interested, and I'll basically be available until I'm assassinated to answer questions. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> uh, in uh, the immortal words of Julian Assange, remember, no matter what happens, even if there's a videotape of it, it was murder. Thank you. Thank you. Please give a warm round of applause to Jake.